This is how to connect the uh, 404 Mark II to the MC707. Um, how I have it connected right now is the send and return I have going into the Mark II. So the send is going to the input and then the return is going to the output of the Mark II. Um, I also have a MIDI out TRS to the MIDI in on the 707 and my settings on this are um, right here. I have the MIDI sync set to auto. I have one and two on, um, receive start and stop on. And then each one of my track channels is set to um, the, the same MIDI channel. So track one is gonna be MIDI channel one, track two is MIDI channel two, so on and so forth. And then I also have the auto channel set to one. What the auto channel does is if I'm selected on a track, I could just play it from my external MIDI controller or in this case, the Mark II. Um, for the send and return, I have that set to, um, let's go here to input so holding shift and hitting input um on the send i have that and the return let's go ahead and set that to mix out so we'll set this to mix out and then also on the return both set to mix out so if I'm on this, you could hear that the whatever effect that I have going on over here is being affected. So uh, getting out of there, um, the next part is, you know, just laying down a track and being able to use the Mark II with the 707 so like if I come in here and start laying something down I could also use the mark 2 um, to like place the notes. Or I could um, go ahead and like load into a track. So what I wanted to do was go into track two and then load a sample. So if I hold shift, oh, I'm sorry, if I just hit sound and go to wave file, I could get into my SD card and then I already found, um, you know, something I wanted to load. So this is just a uh, electric piano. Now that I have that there, I wanted to switch a few things around as well. So I wanted to change the scale. And I also wanted to change the the actual curve or the uh, the velocity of this track so track two so to get to scale hold shift and hit note and then use c4 to change the scale and then um, to change the actual curve if you hold note you'll see that the light on the value knob starts to uh, brighten up and then you could use this to uh, set the curve to like a fixed 127 or any sort of fixed value. And then I wanted to just do a, a linear curve. And then from here, um, I could do the same thing for the chord. Hold shift, 
get into my chord. I could change the actual note of the chord, or I could hold shift or hold chord and then turn the value knob to change that as well to, let's say, um, a linear curve. All right, so after that, I'm gonna go ahead and lay something down. So press record. Go ahead and erase that, and um, go ahead and set the measure. So, if I want to set the measure, I uh, hold Shift and then press the measure arrow, and then I could do um, 16 is going to be one measure, 32 is going to be two, and if I want to like just keep going in a in a way like that, like by bar, I could hold shift and then turn the knob. So that's three, 64 would be four measures. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of there, enable recording again. start playing around and using the effects. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to go over was um, also taking a an instrument and then applying uh, just a, a single effect to it. Like if I want to add a delay to this shaker, I could do so by holding shift and then making sure that I'm in the settings part. Uh, the kit settings, I'm gonna go ahead and raise that delay. I'm just gonna bump it all the way to 127. Uh, if you hold shift and turn the knob, it's gonna increase the value by a lot. Um, and then next, I'll select the actual pad that I want the delay to go to. So um, once I select it, I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to go to pad edit and then delay send. I'm just going to go ahead and bump that up. And now I have the delay on uh, that shaker. So if I were to put some notes in. It's a little too loud, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the level down on that shaker. have any questions uh let me know